<laughs> Hi everyone, how you doing? So, I feel like we're in a scene from A Taste of Honey or something. <laughs> we're in a bit of stealthy tonight. Well, we're actually leaving our house sit tonight because um, the homeowner's son is coming to visit for the weekend. And uh, we thought we'd take the opportunity to come out for the weekend in our motorhome. And give the van a run out. Giving the van a bit of a test, aren't we, Babs? Yeah. Um, so tomorrow we're heading towards our storage unit. So tomorrow we're going to have a look at our storage. And tonight... We think we're going to see if we can find a bit of park up. <laughs> now, it was really quite easy in the States. I used my o iOverlander app and we've just used park for night. We're having yeah. a look. Um, we'll see how far we get. So what time is it now, sweetheart? It's now five to six. It's five to six in the evening, although it feels about midnight. We've got it broken backs because we've been cleaning the house before anyone turns <laughs> up. <laughs> um, so we're going to head off and then we'll see where we get and uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> We're getting a right taste of being back in England, aren't we, Gary? <laughs> oh, we have. Good grief! Look at the traffic. So there's apparently a bit of, apparently a bit of a hold up somewhere. We think it's just because it's like people leaving for the end of the day, don't you think, babe? I think so. Yep. And the next thing in front of us is around about 3.4 kilometres ahead. So this is a 3.4 kilometre tailback by the looks mm, of it good grief so we're starting to think about going to see if we can get a pub stop mainly because we quite fancy a bit of grub don't we bab <laughs> we you know we're supposed to be cutting down but uh, as soon as we get in the motorhome we're like Whoa, let's go and eat out i don't know what's going on anyway this uh this doesn't look like it's going to be as easy as we think but uh still enjoyable isn't it babe it's great being back in the van we love it no matter what so we've just seen the sign saying delays possible until 2024. Gary's pissed off because he says it's already 2024. <laughs> so we're heading to the Maypole on Hailing Island. Uh, I just phoned the lady. She was really nice. So we've got to get there before the kitchen closes, we hope. Although she did say, if you know, if they're still there, they'll knock us something up. So we're all looking forward to it though, are you, babe? <laughs> yes. I'm really excited. So let's do a pub stop. So... We're just a couple of hundred metres away now and we're looking for the Maypole from here. But we used to... Uh, Destination on the right, oh, after 300 metres. Sat Nav's leading us in. So we used to live in Portsmouth, so we know Hailing Island a little bit. Um, I don't think, we've never took the motorhome here, but then again, we didn't really use the motorhome that much before we shipped it to America. It's a bit of a rainy old night, as you can see. Is it, Gary? This yeah, looks like it. Right. All right, brilliant. Let's have a quick look, see what the car park is like. Oh, it looks like a really nice pub. Look at this. So, if you give them a ring before you get there, oh, pie mash and liquor. <laughs> so, I'm thinking, what do you think, in that corner bit in the garden there? I think so, yeah. Do you think they want us there? I mean, they haven't said where to go. No, is the park in the other side, babes? Like that way? I don't know. Because I'm sure so I've read something about grass or something. Yeah, I read, I read that as well. So, what's on the other side here? Oh, look, there's loads of parking in the front. And then we'll see what they say. But this looks really nice, actually. Oh, they had a Valentine's night there. Oh, it's still on, I think. They do live music and everything. Yeah, this is... I mean, it's near the road, but it doesn't look like a mega busy road, does it? It doesn't, does it? I don't think they're going to want you taking all this space, though. No, I'm sure they're not. Well, we'll ask them. Where they want us, though, really. Not. Let's check with them. Yeah. It's a really nice pub. And I got myself a nice glass of red wine. But it's gorgeous in here. It's got that really lovely, like, country pub vibe. So hopefully we'll have a nice little meal in here as well. It's actually not too bad because there's uh, there was three parking spaces, so lengthways, but we've gone across them okay um, i've reversed in so that the, the door is facing the pub okay um, because it was difficult to get around if we'd have gone in face first so that was good and it's level perfectly level and it's concrete so, mm. so yeah, that's good. and all they ask for is that you pop in and maybe get a drink or something but we're going to get some food anyway um because we feel like treating ourselves don't we, we do I tell you what, you'd be hard pressed to get a better welcome than here, wouldn't you, Gary? That's great. Isn't it? Uh, really, really friendly. So they've given us a menu, and you can choose from sort of uh, like three for fifteen pounds on sort of what are they call bar snack things. So they're like chicken wings and chicken goujons, that kind of thing. Or well, there's um, they've got pie and liquor. Like I had that 
for years I used to have that in Woolwich when like years ago when I was about 15 what you seen on the menu there's a Greek Cypriot salad oh god <laughs> are you looking at salad such a diet um. <laughs> yeah I was just mentioning it so we could avoid it <laughs> <laughs> no you weren't yeah, we do like a Greek Cypriot salad don't we we love a salad actually but they've got loads of starters okay so the starters are around about 7 95 which is really good and then the mains vary from 11.95 through to 16.95 for gammon so beef burger and chips 14.95 halloumi burger 13.95 we do homemade chili chili's not on tonight and the fish cake's not on but it's got quite a varied menu and it's a really lovely atmosphere. So Gary's up in the big dilemma. Does he have one pie or two pies? I mean, the selling in doubles. <laughs> well, it's a single or a double. I didn't know what it meant at first. I thought it was like a double decker, like one pie on top of each other. But it's just like, it's like two pies, isn't it? It is. You're going for pie, aren't you? I'm going to have to, I think, yeah. Just realise that there's some love hearts above Gary. So it's very romantic above you. I don't know if that's like a mistletoe. We've got to come and kiss you. I think it's to drink beer underneath it. <laughs> oh, right. And if you don't want your kiss, fine. <laughs> God, won't be offering again. <laughs> they also have a really great Greek menu. We've we've missed up. We've missed the uh, opportunity for the Greek. We menu. have, yeah. What table is the Greek on one? Saturday night, I think. Oh it? God, so it looked amazing, didn't oh, it? Especially after our little Cyprus it. trip. I was I like, know. wow. But it's <laughs> really, really cute. There's loads of lovely lights and stuff in here. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we're going for a joint star. We're getting camembert, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And then I'm going to get scampi. And yeah. Gary's going for a the double I'm going pie for the situation. Double pie and chips. You can't come to a pub that does double pie and not get the double pie. Well, well you can, reason. Gary. You can. <laughs> Um, oh, but you can't, that's what you mean. So <laughs> so we'll show you when it comes out. Oh my gosh, look at this. So we've got a nice big massive camembert, loads of bread, and there's some chutney. It's going to get us a bit of butter. I'm over the moon with this, aren't you, Gary? It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, so we've moved table, because obviously I always move table. But look at this pub. I'll show you around in a minute, and it's got some really brilliant history. Oh, God, this is absolutely delicious. Right. The diet's completely gone out the window. We I can't even remember tonight. being on the diet. Tonight. Like, <laughs> All right, Gary. It's like, for tonight, diet <laughs> bloody... You. Diet police over there. Um, yes, but uh, it's really good. So I do recommend this this little joint starter it's really nice Gary's been all dainty there look with his butter he's a dainty guy though I think you'll all agree isn't he okay official verdict I reckon that's the nicest one I've ever had what about you babe oh without a shadow of a doubt oh my god there's so much cheese it was lovely okay we love that okay so we're sitting at this little table here and where this window is was the original door to the pub and it was broken into three sections so you had a section through that way there and where we're sitting obviously this is a bit more modern now and then in the back there was the ladies bar because of course ladies and men didn't drink together at those times but look it's just a brilliant brilliant pub and they've got some of these yard ales here at least 50 years old it's got all of the things that you would kind of really want to see if you come to an old pub including a Gary <laughs> An old man and an old pub. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's brought the, yeah, double, the double pie out. <laughs> and there's some napkins. If Thank you need you. anything else, let me know. Thank you. And here's mine. So I got scampi and chips and Gary got double pie. Gary got two pies. How do you tell the difference? Well, on the top, there's a diamond on the steak and kidney one. Yeah, on steak and, and kidney, there's a diamond. The steak and ale. Yeah. There's a, although I've just eaten that. But there's a, there's a yard of ale shaped piece of pastry. So you know that's the steak and ale. Nice. <laughs> Anyone fun. else do this, girls? You just say something random like, do you remember what you said last <laughs> night? They start flapping and don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I just said that to him. Do you remember what you said last night? <laughs> He's like, what, 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 what did you say last night? He didn't say anything. But I'll tell you what, at that moment... <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh. gosh, this camera keeps going really weird, Gary. Oh. So I've, I've finished mine. I'm stuffed, actually. I'm done. I, I say it like, like I haven't eaten that much, but God, I'm so, so full. <laughs> you full? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. On your double pie? Yeah, I will be by the end. Gary and his eating challenge. <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen Gary's eating challenge, <laughs> I'll put a link to it. <laughs> Did you sleep last night? Really well really well it was the road was was quiet after a 
fashion. But um... Right. First of all, you wouldn't know because you were asleep the whole time. <laughs> and you were doing that schnoodling thing like that. Like, it's not quite snoring, but it's like that snuffling. <laughs> you were doing that last night. That's because I was in a position to try and get rid of some acid that I had on my... Oh, my God. Too much heartburn. bloody information, Gary. Your heartburn. Oh, God. <laughs> I think it was that cheese. Yeah, well, we both we're both too old to be eating so much cheese, aren't we? To be honest. Um, anyway, it was. Um, it's actually not a bad kip here. You feel very safe. That road noise um, does die down in the evening, but it starts up fairly early if it's a work day the next day. And today is Friday morning. And what we're we doing today, babes? We're going to storage today. To- yeah. Put loads of stuff in and take a little bit out. Yeah, we're going to go and have a look at our storage locker. So I need to clear this place up a little bit uh, and make some breakfast. Dead easy. I'll just have a little bit of toast for breakfast. So we're very lucky to have a grill as well as an oven. So I'll pop a bit of toast on and uh, we've got the kettle going. Mm. So we're outside the boozer Uh, or the... uh, the maypole this is a view from my window i shall shut my curtains in a minute don't want everyone seeing me gear have me brecky but you can see how close that road is there that's the main artery road that does run through hayling island uh but what a lovely pub stop it's really super friendly and it's been it's been really nice hasn't it it's been great you're right they were really friendly in there last night oh lovely um big shout out to jade who uh was uh, behind the bar last night a really lovely lady and a really nice pub. So this is the pub, the Maypole. We're parked here for the night. Really quite a nice location. There you go, there's a field to one side. Gary's gonna bring it forward. And the road's here. Very nice. The Maypole. Right. We're headed up to the storage. Gary's laughing because I said, F in hell, I look like Aunt Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make me Wurzel Gummidge? <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, we're going up to the storage. We're going to have a little look round there, see what the score is. And we're only about 20 minutes from the storage, aren't we? Yeah, about 20 minutes. So here we go. And, it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it, the rain holds off today so we can have a proper look. Yeah, it's a busy little road, this, though. This is your main road, your main road going up and down through Hayling Island. <laughs> storage unit good god it is absolutely rammed our storage so don't forget all of our stuff has to go somewhere core it smells a bit damp in there gary yeah we've got like these humidifier things that we put in there but uh, yeah we've come to put a few extra bits in and possibly take a few extra bits out that's our sofa it looks dry enough, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It looks it dry enough. Feel damp or anything either. Not... Um, well, this is the thing with um, full-time motorhoming. You kind of have to have a storage unit, don't you? A lock-up, yeah. and this costs us what, 150 a month? Yeah, and we got rid of a lot of stuff. But you know, there's some there's some stuff you don't want to get rid of because yeah. you know you're going to get a house one day and all that sentimentality. Yeah. Uh, you know, stuff that you've you've collected over the years. You know, you don't want to throw that away. So you do have to have somewhere to keep it. Yeah, this works out really well for us, doesn't it? Yeah. Although I'm looking at the sofa, babe, and it doesn't look in great condition, to be honest. Well, I mean, it was fairly old before it went in, so... It was. It was. And I think so, some of it is about, like, if we got a house, we'd, it would cost us a fortune to replace it, well, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so if we but, had the old stuff in there, we could just replace it piecemeal as we needed to. Yeah. So, I mean, this is one of the important things to think about. If you are going to go full time or you are thinking about just taking an adventure and you want to rent your own house out, you can always get a storage lock up. They work out quite well, don't they? Yeah. You're all done now. All done. Um, the old dehumidifier things that we put in there mm. um, have gone and I've put some new dehumidifiers. And that was, mm-hmm. that, that. I reckon that was a litre and a half of water. That those God. Dehumidifiers in those, yeah, we put them in like a year ago, didn't yeah. we? And it's exactly a year. Yeah. And interestingly enough, when we set off to go to Europe um, in two weeks' time, it's near enough 
to the day that we set off to America last <laughs> year, is. isn't it? Yes. So we'll be doing Europe for the rest of this year. That's the plan, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah. Plans change, but that's our plan yeah. at the moment. But yeah, but, all locked up. Everything that we wanted to get is away and yeah. the bits and pieces we wanted, we've now got in the van. So Nice. It feels yeah. so real that we're heading off to Europe now, doesn't it, Bab? It does. Oh. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, me too. That's a big moment. What did you just say then? We've just forgotten to put something away. Stop saying is... we. <laughs> okay, I've forgotten. <laughs> but it's really important because it was the 110 to 240 step-up converter, which we needed for the States but don't need for Europe. And it's heavy. It's about right. 20 kilos. So, oh, we um, need that, with that payload needs be, off. needs to be gone. Especially the way we're piling on the kilos. <laughs> Let's take that 20 off so we've got a bit more room. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now. So you've got to do that now. All right, yeah. babes. And then we're going to head off, aren't yeah. we? That's right, yeah. Perfect. Oh, God, this... I'll tell you what, there's a lot of potholes in England, we've realised, and a lot of, lot of skinnier roads. We're just sort of coming into Chichester. After 800 metres... We're heading down to Bognor Regis for a bit of lunch, aren't we, Gary? Yeah, should be nice. Yeah, we're hoping to be able to park up near the, the front. I think there's a paid car park. We've just seen it on park for night. We're going to see if that's any good. We've just seen a, a pothole so big, they've put a traffic cone in it, haven't they, Gary? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. they're soon, they'd soon taking your bloody money, like your taxes for it. Like, these potholes are ridiculous. Like, we've had to avoid loads, haven't we? But they're not little. They're massive potholes. And they don't have to do some damage. Yeah, they do. It's dangerous. So this is sort of the seafront of Bognor Regis. And uh, you can park you can park along here, but it doesn't have a, much of a sea view. Oh, there's the sea there, Gary. It's very grey today. So it's a bit of parking. Turn around. Yeah. Hold on, I turn this thing off. It keeps talking. Until There's a bit there. Find that car up there. So the, the dirty car, the third one up on the left. Oh, the side. dirty car, yeah. Yeah, let's go behind that because the other one will be able to see through. Well, I'm not sure you will. You might be better off on this side, so it's wider. We'll just drive up for a little bit, babes, and then we'll okay. we might walk along there ourselves Managed actually to get a nice little spot. So we've got a bit of a sea view right near the pier. Gary's going to have to go and get. Um, a parking ticket now though won't you yeah park up sometimes gary often puts one of these on you bought this recently didn't you yeah bought it off amazon uh 21.99 it was mm -hmm. so great value and it's dead simple to use it automatically uh locks itself okay and you just need a key to unlock it so you pop that in there so this is facing you you pop just pull that, it up pull it up and it clicks into place and you can't then move the steering wheel without whilst you stand whilst you're sitting in the chair because you're Legs are in the way. But it's more so somebody else doesn't steal it, Gary, or oh. be able to move it. So don't, <laughs> yeah. it's not really a deterrent for you, is it? Let's just <laughs> no, clarify. <laughs> so right. it's more of a deterrent, really, isn't it? And how yeah. do you open it? Um, simple. Pop comes key. with a key? Yeah, it comes with three keys. Oh, it does? So you just turn that, push that back, okay. and then lift it out again. And really, I mean, I doubt our motorhome is the most desirable on the street. <laughs> but you know what? This is our house. So for twenty one ninety nine, it's worth getting. And it's solid steel. I mean, it's heavy. And is it? it feels secure. Okay. Well, if anyone's interested in getting one, um, the Amazon affiliate link will be below in the description. We think it's a brilliant thing to leave onto your motorhome. If nothing else, it just slows somebody down who's got ill intent. Twenty one ninety nine. We don't. Uh, it won't cost you any more if you use our link. But obviously, we get a little kickback. So you know, link down below. Great little park up here, just on the side of the road. Has it been here? It cost us two pounds forty for two hours. Right near the promenade as well. One thing you can't do is you'll notice the the curb's really high, so we can't get in that way. So I'm gonna have to do as I came out. It's quite a bit of a wide gap. <laughs> but now if I go down that, I'll be doing my knee in again. So we came to Bognor Regis and we were quite surprised. The sun's come out. It doesn't really feel like we're uh, in February in a British seaside town. It feels really bright and sunny, it's great. And we just stopped at a, a little Thai restaurant. And we had a lunch menu for 10.95. Two courses for 10.95. It was brilliant. Clever recycling bin. Throw marine a lifeline. It's in the shape of a sort of life ring. And you pop your plastics in here. Brilliant. Look at this building. Right on Bognor Regis Pier. So we're just along this walkway. It's absolutely beautiful. And what a day for it. The sun is blazing, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Here's butlins of Bognor Regis. So... 
I'm not a massive Butlins fan, but I can see why people like it. They do lots of uh, like themed weekends and stuff, don't they? <laughs> We've had a really lovely little time down in Bognor Regis, haven't we? We have. It's been, it's been brilliant. Right, so we're heading off now to Brighton, where we're going to spend the weekend. And we're going to, what is it called again? Uh, the Caravan and Motorhome Club um, official club campsite. In well, Brighton. we've never been to one of them, have we? No, nope, first for us. Um, we don't know whether it's going to be worth the money. Uh, it's quite expensive, so we'll tell you all about it next week. We'll do a bit of a review and we will be telling the truth. <laughs> So if you want to see us in, in Brighton next week and see what we think of the Caravan and Motorhome Club, why don't you hit that subscribe? If you're already subscribed, why don't you ring that bell? If you've already done that, good on you. We love you. <laughs> so anyway, have a great week, guys. We'll see you next week. We're going off now just before it starts to rain. Uh, thanks very much for watching and all the support. We love you guys. See you soon. Take, Take care. care. Bye.